The dumbest police raid we ever had was when they raided the store thinking we had cigarettes hidden up inside the ceiling tiles. What the fuck? So it all started back from the neighbor that lived above us. We had a retail store and there's some shitty apartments up above. And it was at our first location. So the guy didn't like that we had traffic actually coming in and out of the store because he wanted to rent the space himself for his own store. I don't know what the fuck he was going to sell. He collected mounted animals. If you know what that is, that's where they take dead animals and stuff them and put them on a board. And he had thousands of them in his apartment up there. I think he was trying to sell them or have sex with them. I don't know. The guy was quite disgusting and... Yeah, he probably was trying to fuck him because he said he didn't like anything that wasn't rough. It had to be soft, soft for him to feel on. Anyway, so he would come down and harass my employees because most of my employees and uh, at the time were female. And he'd say rude things to him, so they told him, you can't come in here. So in return, he calls the cops and says that we're selling cigarettes to minors and hiding the cigarettes in the ceiling tiles and that the miners use a code word and then we sell them the cigarettes which is totally fucking stupid shit because who the fuck would sell cigarettes when every goddamn gas station has them and so they raid the entire store looking for cigarettes and i already quit cigarettes like three years earlier so Good fucking luck on that. Elf's actually has an anti-cigarette program where the employees can get reimbursed if they use a, an aid to stop smoking, like a patch or something. So, yeah. I'm glad that what finally happened, they, the cops raided the store. They took out all the ceiling tiles, looked up there, found nothing there, searched the entire store, found nothing, left with their tail between the legs, uh, I'm assuming someone bitched at him. It didn't really matter because the cocksucker died like six months later and the world became a slightly better place once he was dead. And with that, puff puff pass, no parking on the grass, I'm out of here. had thousands of them in his apartment up there. I think he was trying to sell them or have sex with them. I don't know.